Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math 10C, Chapter 6, Lesson 4, Slope Point Form of the Equation. Outcomes today, we're going to express a linear relationship in different forms and compare the graphs. We're going to rewrite a linear relation in either slope, intercept, or general form. We're going to generalize and explain strategies for graphing a linear relationship in slope, intercept, general, or slope point form. We're going to graph a linear relationship given a slope, intercept, or slope point form and explain the strategy used to create the graph. We're going to identify equivalent linear relations from a set of linear relations. We're going to match a set of linear relations to the graphs. We're going to write the equation of a linear relation given its slope and the coordinates of a point on the line and explain the reasoning. And finally, we're going to write the equation of a linear relation given the coordinates of two points on the line and explain the reasoning. Lots we're going to do, so let's get to it. Now, first things first, review. Notice these are slope uh, intercept forms where m it's a slope, and b is your y-intercept. So these are really, really easy to graph. You find your y-intercept, minus 2, and then you use your slope. Now, down 5 over 3. Now, I can't do that here, but I can go back 3 and up 5. That gives me two points. And I play connect the dots, and there we go. That's the graph. Now, that's what I need to be able to do. Change the color there, make it a little nicer. The basic idea. Now, that's also how you graph in your calculator. y1 equals minus 5 divided by 3 times x minus 2. Now, do the next one a smidge slower, because I know sometimes I go kind of fast. My b value is plus 3. So I go here. And note, I didn't bother labeling the graph axis x and y. But I'm hoping you can figure out this, what the numbers are, because I'm not. I'm not going to tell you. Now here, the slope is 3 fourths. That's a rise of 3 and a run of 4. So there's a point. Now, as I've said in class, as many points as you can. So go back 4 and down 3, and there's another point. There we go. I'd be like that. Sorry. There we go. That is y is 3 fourths x plus 3. That's what I need to be able to do. And if you have any trouble with that, remember you can always grab Mr. Graphing Calculator. y equals, now clear this, 3 divided by 4 x plus 3, enter, graph. Now, my graph looks a little different because my windows are a little different. You look carefully at the graph I drew, and you see the windows that goes from minus 10 to 10. So, and this graph is actually on the cal on the graphing calculator stretched a little bit. That's why it's a real good idea to go to your table of values and look. Now, oh come on, stop that! Stop that! You useless piece of poop! I got a time of the bloody energy. Now there we go. Zero and three is one point, right here. Now, from my graph, I'd say this is 4, 6 should be on the graph. And this is minus 4, 0. So, minus 4, 0 is on the graph. Good. Now, what about 4, 6? Yes. So, my table of values agree with my graph. So, yes, I'm pretty certain I drawn the graph correctly. That's what I need to be able to do. But that's actually a review. Now, the other part is what's the equation of a line? Now we just talked about that. Your b value in this case is plus two. And your slope is rise over run. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three. So m, our slope, is rise over run. Six over six, which is one. So this is y is equal to one x plus two. Okay? That's what I need to be able to do. That's a review from last class, but still, same thing here. Actually, let's pause the recording. We'll come back and prepare answers and see what the equation is for this black line. So pause the recording. Let's go. Race you. Okay, guys. I got y is minus 5, 6, x minus 3. My rise is minus 5. I'm going down. My run is 6. 
but my slope is minus 5, 6, and my b value is minus 3. All right. Now, same idea here. And I'm going, this one sucks. Find the slope of the line, then the equation of the graph. Now, the slope we can do easily. That's rise over one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My run is 2. So m equals rise over run, which is 5 over 2. And leave it as that. Okay? And you're going, oh dear, 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 oh dear. Cheating shortcut. Notice we have two coordinates here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this point is... Now remember last lesson, it was the lesson before. Excuse me. We came up with this equation to find the slope given the points of the coordinates. So, since this is, would be y1, this would be x1, so that is x2, y2, so that is 3 minus minus 2. Actually, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I can plug those numbers in, but I want you to note here we have an equation. I can rewrite this in terms of y. That is, get y all by itself if I multiply both sides by x2 minus x1. Then we end up with the equation y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. Now, I'm actually deriving a formula for you. On your formula sheet, they actually write it as y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So, in this instance, it's y minus minus 2, y1, equals a slope, 5 halves, times x minus minus 5. Now, that's y plus 2 equals 5 halves x plus 5. That's a different way to write out the equation. You notice we don't need the b value. We have a point and the slope. Now this works really well if we don't know the b value or if the b value is some weird decimal fraction thing. Unfortunately, it's not the way your calculator does it, so. Anyway, like this red one here, you're going, e the b value 2 something. But we can easily calculate the slope. My rise is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 5. And my run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So slope is over run, which is minus 5 over 8. Now, remember I just showed you that formula? y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Like I said, this is a cheating shortcut if your b value sucks or you don't know what it is. Now, oh yes, choosing a point. I'm arbitrarily choosing this one because I can. This is minus 2, comma, 4. So I go y minus my y value, 4, equals my slope, minus 5 eighths, x minus, minus 2. Now, that's y minus 4 equals minus 5 eighths, x plus 2, we write it like that, minus minus. All right? So that's a different way to write out the equation. In a few minutes, I'll show you how to turn that into y equals mx plus b. But I need to be able to do that for the black graph, black equation, black line, sorry. So, rise is minus 3, times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, so my slope is over run. So, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And I'm going to choose this point here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 5, and 2. So this is y minus 2 equals m times x minus minus 5, or 
or y minus 2 equals oh, poopy. I, I just calculated an m. Forgive me, guys. Minus 3 over 10. x plus 5. All right. Now, note this is a cheating shortcut. Once again, this is the slope. Point form. Because if I give you the point and the slope, you can draw the graph. Now, some will say, but Mr. Sutton, how do we put this on a graphing calculator? Well, you multiply it out. I'll do the black one over here, show you. So this becomes y minus 2 equals minus 3 tenths x. Now, minus 3 ten times 5 is ooh, minus 15 over 10, whatever that is. That's minus 1.5. Then I add 2 to both sides to get rid of this minus 2, so it's y equals. So that becomes y equals minus 3 over 10x plus 0 0.5. Now that's y slope intercept form. That's not too bad. Doable. Now, as I said, now with the graphing calculator, I expect you to rewrite it as y equals mx plus b. But I need you to know the slope point form because there are going to be times you're not going to be able to figure out the b. And it's just a little bit of magic, or sorry, multiplying to turn it into uh, the other equation. Now I'm going to pause here because this video is getting kind of long. Any questions, watch the video again or shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck and let's go on. Let's go on.